Yeah, and this is going to help to really green things up even more so by the end of the week. Take a look at our totals again so far this season. 32.5 inches as of last night, so we're tied for second place. Second snowiest March ever on record. 2.7 inches today would put us, well, eh, at the tie for a first spot. I don't know if we're going to see that much out at the airport, but there is the potential for around one to three inches of snow, mainly on grassy surfaces. I do think we're going to make a solid second place, though. Uh, wet and slushy roads are going to be possible throughout the day, and you can see some of that snow uh, really from Denver, parts of Jefferson County, stretching north and east up and over the, the northeastern corner of the state this morning. And then we've seen a few bands that have brought some decent snow and some slushier conditions on the roads. It's 24 in Denver right now. It feels, though, like just 13. Uh, well, a far cry from the 40s and even 50s that we saw at this point yesterday morning. But we're looking at mainly mid to upper 20s around the metro area. And when it comes to potential snowfall totals, right around 1 to 3 inches in and around Denver. It's going to be a little heavier south and west of town and then up to the north over the northeastern plains likely. Oh, about an inch, less than an inch there, a little closer to Fort Collins and Greeley. Some of that heavier snow will be just south of Denver, and you can see here through late morning, we're still going to be seeing some light snow showers that will then start to break up a bit more by the evening commute. The evening commute is going to be quite a bit drier, I think, than what we're seeing this morning, but still some wet pockets of roadway. Uh, overnight tonight, skies will really clear out. Early tomorrow morning, we may see some icy conditions with some of that uh, wet uh, roadway turning and freezing overnight. So do watch for that early Tuesday or early Wednesday, and then skies are going to clear out. So by Wednesday afternoon, right around 4 to 5 o'clock, we're hitting highs in the low to mid 50s. It's going to be quite a bit warmer, more sunshine tomorrow, and then that's just the start of some really warm, not even spring-like, more summer-like conditions that are going to hit later this week. Still calling for a high of 70 degrees in Denver on Thursday. That's going to be right around well, late afternoon, first pitch for the Rockies will be in the upper 60s there. A beautiful home opener. And then on Friday, we'll be at 75. Into the weekend, even warmer. In fact, some upper 70s to low 80s. That's going to push us well above normal. In fact, about 20 degrees above normal through the weekend. Nice change. So as we head into April, Jason, quite a bit warmer than what we've seen this past couple of weeks.